Good afternoon, Alex. Nice we've got some action. Uh, missing the fence, you can see by the flagman there, so two less than would be the norm, but that's the only omission, I believe. Off and racing for the Jack Art Noel Novices Steeplechase, a grade two contest. Just the two runners and Angel's Breath is sent straight into the lead by Nico de Boinville. Grey horse in the blue and white Diablo colours, followed by Mondes Avoua in the hoops of blue and pink. And they bypass what would usually be the first of the fences in this race. It's the only omission, so it'll be taking 15 rather than 17. But it does mean there's a long squelchy run round Swindley Bottom before we reach the first fence. So Angel's Breath out in the lead, leading by a length from Mondes Avoua, who's second. About a length or so adrift as they turn right-handed. So Angel's Breath. Unbeaten in two previous starts here at Ascot and a winner of the feature hurdle race on this card 12 months ago. Leads Mondes Avoua towards the first of four fences climbing up from Swinley Bottom. And Angel's Breath it is who approaches the first then with a lead of round about two lengths. Mondes Avoua just stretched for it slightly and as a result just breasted it and lost about half a length or so. But no serious alarms as Angel's Breath leads them on towards the second. Angel's Breath from Mondes Avoua. The distance between the two runners round about two lengths as they head up towards the open ditch for the first time. Angel's Breath from Mondes Avoua. Angel's Breath over in the lead and Mondes Avoua matched him perfectly over that obstacle. So heading on towards the fourth and out in the lead Angel's Breath continuing to show. Gap between himself and Mondes Avoua is a couple of lengths and they both took that perfectly okay. So now they'll swing right-handed and make their journey on towards fence number five. Out in the lead, the grey, Angel's Breath, bidding to replicate his grey stable companion, Simon Sig, one of the victors in the race for Nicky Henderson, was also part owned by today's owner, Robert E. Bartlett, owned the whole of Simon Sig, he part owns Angel's Breath, with Mondes Avoua. Paul Nichols won three of these races in the spin, 2014 to 2016. Mondes Avoua is in second place for Harry Cobden as they take the first up the home straight. So Angel's Breath measuring the fences pretty well, and with no great pace on and a decent prize for second of nearly £8,000, Mondes Avoua is content at this stage to keep his powder as dry as is possible in these squelchy conditions as Angel's Breath reaches the next. And Mondes Avoua jumped that well, close to within about a length or so. So the die was cast early on. Angel's Breath content to take the lead. Mondes Avoua content to race in second place. That is still the status quo as they make their way up past us and will now swing right-handed and they have nine fences to take. Angel's Breath out in the lead by just over a length from Mondes Avoua as they'll turn downhill to what are now three fences on this part of the circuit. Angel's Breath continuing to lead. Mondes Avoua happy enough in second place. An even gallop being set as they run towards the first of the fences moving away from the stand. So Angel's Breath will approach it in the lead with Mondes Avoua in second place as Angel's Breath saw a decent stride and extended the advantage slightly has been a little slicker than Mondes Avoua it's been a little more guessy in second place as they continue their run downhill two lengths between them Angel's Breath getting a bit of momentum on the approach to that extends the advantage to three lengths over Mondes Avoua as they run downhill towards the second of the open ditches so Angel's Breath out in the lead Mondes Avoua taking a wider course has moved off the leader's tail as they approach the open ditch Angel's Breath takes it about two lengths clear still from Mondes Avoua. So now once again this long run as they bypass what would usually be the last of the quartet of fences and there has been very little change throughout the first circuit. Angel's Breath has jumped soundly in the lead under Nico de Boinville and has led Mondes Avoua by between one and three lengths at various stages. Split the difference at the moment a couple of lengths between the pair as Mondes Avoua and Angel's Breath take the right hand turn. So Angel's Breath out in the lead Blue and white colours of Walters Plantar and Ronnie Bartlett. Mondes Avoua for Mrs. Johnny de la Haye is in second place. And the gap between them remains round about a length and a half. So now they'll begin this steady climb away from Swindley Bottom. And they still have six fences to take. Angel's Breath out in the lead. Approaching the sixth last with a lead of about two to three lengths from Mondes Avoua in second place. Angel's Breath heading up the hill. Mondes Avoua round about three lengths down as Angel's Breath Got it a little bit tight there, saw a stride, came up okay. Mondes Avoir in second, Angel's Breath still two lengths clear 
Mondes Applewhite just nudged along slightly as they head towards the final open ditch four from the finish. Angel's Breath out to the left. Mondes Applewhite still three lengths down, but now his rider just working a little harder to maintain that distance on the front leader as they head towards the third last. Angel's Breath three to four lengths clear from Mondes Applewhite has gradually eked out an extra length or two over the last couple of fences and Angel's Breath turns for home with the lead as big as it has ever been. It's five to six lengths now to Mondes Applewhite who's having to be shaken along and at this stage isn't making much impression as Angel's Breath is six to eight lengths clear approaching the second last. Angel's Breath from Mondes Applewhite. Two fences to take. Angel's Breath is again good over it. In second, Mondes Avoir, six to eight lengths down. And Angel's Breath, a glance over the shoulder from Nico de Boinville. The main danger in front rather than behind it would appear. That's in the shape of the final fence. Angel's Breath has put in a pretty decent round so far. Comes down to the last and he's good over that as well. So Angel's Breath, eight to ten lengths clear from Mondes Avoir. Three out of three now here at Ascot. Two over two over fences. Another win in the race for Nicky Henderson. Nico de Boinville allows Angel's Breath to saunter home at his leisure to win the Jacquard Noel Novices chase in decisive fashion. Mondes Avoir is down on the run to the line, eventually 15 to 20 lengths back in second place.